second for Wagstaff to chase. Fry is with Wagstaff, as he has been from the kickoff. Hegan. Good running by Hegan. Oh, and a chance for Dugan! Derek Dugan! But the construction of that goal, without any doubt at all. The beauty of the pass from Danny Hegan. Wagstaff, Hegan, and Dugan, the killer stroke on the end of it. Gabriel. Shannon. Terry Payne on the right side. Payne, good little chip ball, and that's Kirk up. Joe Kirk up. What a neat little goal, and what a superb run. It's 1 1 now. Joe Kirkup scoring his first goal of the season, and he hasn't had too many in his whole career. First free kick of the game, of the second half, that is. Going to Wolves, obviously for something somebody said. Indirect free kick. No defensive wall. Wagstaff to whack one. Oh, and what a goal! No, no, it's been ruled out, it's been ruled out. It was an indirect free kick and referee Styles has his hand still in the air. I must be honest, I was caught too. Stokes. Gabriel the challenge with McCall. Bailey away. Uh, Southampton ball. <laughs> Terry Payne taking lots of time. Gabriel for Shannon. Terry Payne. Oh, what a good return ball for Shannon. Whoops. Indirect free kick. The referee being mobbed in by Southampton players demanding the penalty kick but indirect inside the box it is so that none of us including me get caught out again it being an indirect free kick the ball must strike somebody before it goes into the net I don't think Terry Payne will make the same mistake that Wagstaff did. And that's Shannon. That wasn't a bad goal at all, at all, at all. That's the way to do it while they're still hanging about. And Parks really looking desolate on his line there. Five minutes into the second half and it's 2-1 to Southampton. Bailey a long one, aiming for Dugan. He hits it down. Kirk up away. Again, Wolves come storming in again. John McCall. Dugan. Must be him with a chance. He's there. Derek Dugan. Dugan makes it 2 2, and there is a very disconsolate goalkeeper and a very happy Derek Dugan. Look at the smile on his face. 2 2 the scoreline. John McCall was the man who slammed the ball forward. McGrath failed in the tackle on Dugan. And he saw the opening on the far post, scores his second goal of the game. Now we're wondering, can he get another hat-trick? And this seems surely to be the long one. Dugan was in the sandwich between McGrath and Kirkup. Waxed off. Well done. Dugan just... And he's pointed to the penalty. McGrath, I think it was, who got the hand to it. Referee Styles right in the middle there. From this angle, it was difficult to see. Dugan went in on that ball. Referee Styles has pointed to the spot. Dugan is already over the ball. Dugan will be looking now for a hat trick. No, Dugan's put the ball away. 
the, hat, the penalty kit man will be parking. The moment of truth then for goalkeeper Martin. Ten minutes to go to the end of the game. Parker with a kick. And no, it's going to be taken again. Referee Styles was blowing his whistle as Parkin went up. What a let off. The referee Styles calling people over to him. The referee Styles had blown his whistle before Parkin took the kick, indicating that some infringement was on and that he didn't intend for the kick to be taken at that moment. So Parkin, who hits the post, gets himself another crack at it. And that's a very nervous fullback out there at this moment. Here he goes. That one he scores. It's 3 2 then. For Southampton. For 3 2 against Southampton. Derek Parkin. Score of one goal. Dugan going through in the picture. The score of the two previous goals. Parkin. A couple of Harvey Smith signals to anybody who cares to uh, take note of them. And a phlegmatic expression on his face. Dugan has Hegan to play with out there. The Wolves got another one now. It will be the killer punch. Hegan. There it is, Steve Daly. Steve Daly. And there's the picture of a happy fella. 4-2 the Wolves now. And Steve Daly scoring a goal in the first full league match that he's ever played in. And it all looks so easy. But it was Danny Hegan who set it up. Dugan was involved, Hegan the man who set up the earlier goal for Dugan, setting up a perfect unmissable chance then for Steve Daly and he took it perfect.